Hey everybody, today we're going to be making the Super Mario 64 double and super jump uh, logic with our 2D characters so that when we jump once and land and if we do it quickly enough we'll jump again a little bit higher and if we do it quickly enough we'll have our final super jump and go really high and we'll have a counter that'll reset and a timer that will make sure that we jump within a time frame to activate these increased jump powers. So, let's get to it. Okay, first thing in our header file, we want to create some functions. Uh, some class overrides are on jumped implementation, the landed function, and notify jump apex. We also want to create some movement functions. We want a modify jump power and a reset jump power. Then down below, add two new variables, an F timer handle called jump reset, as well as an integer called jump counter. Initialize that to zero. An implementation in our constructor, we want to add two more things. We want to have our gravity scale be 2.8 F to begin with, and we want our jump Z velocity to be 1,000. That'll make our character a little bit heavier, as well as give him a, um, a boost to the original jump. So this feels more like Mario to me. You can mess around and find what you like. Add your implementations. So when we jump, We want to notify Apex to true. This resets every single jump I've discovered. So that's why every time you jump, you want to trigger this back to true so that the on notify Apex um, function, that's where we're going to trigger our gravity to be a little bit heavier so that we come down quicker. And because we're using a 2D sprite, set the play rate here to zero, as well as the playback position and frames to the first frame and true on fire events. This freezes our sprite, our flipbooks, so that we have the, uh, just a singular jump kind of foot forward with our sprite, so that we're not just running in place when we're up in the air. Because our velocity is not zero, our flipbooks think in the way that we've written our animate function, our flipbooks think that we're walking. So this will freeze it. Also increase the jump counter. We also want to clear our jump reset timer at this point. Implement notify jump apex next. At this point, we want to get character movement and set our gravity scale to five. So when we're at the peak of our jump, suddenly we're heavier and we'll come down faster. Let's write modify jump power next. This is going to be a switch on our jump counter. We want a case for one, case for two. Add the brakes. On case one, we want to get the character movement and increase our jump velocity to 1400. You can also add a log to alert us that we've increased the jump power. On case two, our jump velocity, we want to increase to 2,000. And that's our super jump. Our default, go ahead and just do nothing, but we're going to print out a jump power level zero so that we know that's our initial jump. Implement reset jump power. When we reset, we want to set our jump counter back to zero. Get our character movement, our jump Z velocity, and set it back to our original 1000. We can also spit out a log here and say jump power reset. One last function, we want to add landed now. When we land, we want to get our sprite to be uh, moving again. So set the play rate back to one. 
set our gravity scale back to 2.8F or whatever you have used. And now if our jump counter is greater than two, we want to call the reset jump power. And then we want to modify the jump power, get the world timer manager, set timer, pass in our jump reset timer handle, pass this as the object, the function we want to call is reset jump power if 0.2 seconds has passed and no we do not want to loop. So what that does is it'll set a timer and that's our window of jumping. Uh, if you've ever played Mario 64 if you jump as soon as you land you'll get that second jump and if you jump as soon as you land again you'll get your super third jump. However, if we go outside of that, we want to trigger the reset jump power and start the timer and the, uh, the triggering all over again. Go ahead and compile. And if you've done everything correctly, you should have three levels of jump. And you can see the output log over there showing. And if we jump and we wait, jump reset, it resets back to our original. Same with the second level, back to the original. So there you go. There's your three Super Mario 64 style of jumping using a timer. And once again, we're not on the tick. Super performative. Thanks everybody for watching. More to come.